that felt amazing. What's going on, YouTube fam? Welcome to the first official video on High Adventure Videos. Whoa, two? We got a bunch of boats out, so I gotta be careful because flat bottom boats are not very friendly with waves. Y'all, this is kind of what this second channel is all about. I just kind of got a wild hair to go shellcracker fishing. I just really wanted to catch some slab shellcrackers. So it's Saturday. I don't typically fish on Saturdays because I mean, it's a madhouse here out on the lake. Even with the high gas prices, it doesn't seem to be deterring a lot of people. I just got an itch to try to pull up some pancakes from the deep. So that's what we're gonna be doing this afternoon. Let's get right into it. Let's get a little red worm out. It is a balmy 95 degrees here. It is plenty warm. That won't be the last dip we take today, that's for sure. All right. And the first drop of the day. Heading down to 16, 17 feet of water. Absolutely gorgeous day out. I mean, I don't blame people for being out. Beautiful. First time in about three weeks that it hasn't just been like a rainy Saturday. Been getting a ton of rain here in South Carolina recently. Something's on it. Look at that. Look at that. Right as it hit the bottom. Holy jeepers. Holy jeepers. That's a shell cracker right there. I think. It's not a big bluegill, is it? Oh, that's a big old bluegill. Look at that. Holy cow. That might be the biggest bluegill I caught this year so far. Good grief. This thing's a tank. Look at that. Good nip. Let's, let's, I want to see how long he is. Boy, he hit that right as it hit the bottom. No hesitation. What are we dealing for? That's a nine inch bluegill. Nine inch bluegill. That may very well be biggest bluegill for me to date. Did I bring my stringer? I don't know if I did. I may not have. Oh, I did. Look at me. Micah, you are just beautiful is what you are. So prepared all the time. I'm going to set you right down here for a second. Hold up. Hold up. Hold it. Starting off with a bang. That's how I like to do it. You know, one of the deep water shell cracker. I'll settle for a slab bluegill though. Technically everything in the south, that's just a brim. But we call that. We call that a nice bluegill. Sweet. Let's a keep it going. Hey, left me my worm and everything. We'll just hop it right back down. This is what we're going to be dealing with all day. These waves. We're on the high seas. Good knit. There's one. Oh, there we go. He hammered that. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. This feels like another solid fish right here. Hey, there's our shell cracker. There's our shell cracker. There we go. That's not a bad fish right there. Oh, man, that's a chunk. That's a chunk. There's a way to start the day on the shell cracker. When you can lip them, you're in business. Let me anchor us up right there. Look at that thing. Woo, there's a slab. There's a pancake. That's what I'm talking about right there. Woo, let's measure them up. Oh man, that's, that's like 11 and a half, 11 three quarter inch shell cracker. That's that, <laughs> that's what you want. I kind of my new standard is like anything over 11 inches. That's what I'm after with these shell cracker. L look at that, look at that. I mean, it just dwarfs what that bluegill looks like. And that's a good bluegill. I mean, nine inch bluegill, I think that was. Good grief. Man, we're starting off hot. It's hot outside and we're starting the fishing hot. That's what I like. Get some more, more bait and get out there. Folks, what I have tied on is just a simple octopus hook. And then I'm about 10 inches off the bottom with a bullet sinker. And I've got my trolling motor on low. I've actually, I've got it on a setting of two. Sometimes I drop it down to one and a half on this Minn Kota power drive, 12 volt. And I'm finding these deep points like this right here where it gets pretty deep pretty quickly right off of the bank. I don't want, I don't want a long sloping point. I want a decent drop off. We're in 19 feet here. We're maybe, I don't know, 40 feet from the bank. Look at the waves heading my way. There's no need to jig when you're hitting this. Good knit. Woo! This is why I don't typically fish on Saturdays. <laughs> uh, but we're out here braving it. Oh my Lord of mercy. Look how small this thing is. Oh my heavens. That's straight up a shell cracker too. <laughs> Look at that. 
that. That almost might be a war mouth. Look how big that mouth is. Like my whole thumb almost fits in there. That might be a war mouth right there. <laughs> Get out of here. Stab it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Shellcracker Island. We dubbed this last year, named it. I think we planted our flag on it, basically. Nobody else is allowed to fish it. In fact, that's my green sign right there. I was here about a month ago and the shellcracker hadn't seemed to move out into the main body of the lake yet. So we're gonna see now, about three and a half weeks later, if things have changed. I need this. There's one, look at that. Took it, took it. There's something out here, shellcracker. Shellcracker, hey, Shellcracker Island does have Shellcracker on it, ladies and gentlemen. Not very big. I mean, that's an eater, again. It's probably seven, eight inches. Not a bad fish. There he is. Ah, he just took a blow for freedom. That's okay, he was going back anyway. It's a good sign. Now we just need his grandpa. There's one right there. Another Shellcracker. Woo! That kind of small one though. Ladies and gentlemen, what are the odds this boat is gonna cut between me and the island right here? The island's about 20 yards away. I say the odds are pretty good. Oh, no, maybe not. They're slowing down. Okay, oh, they're gonna slowly go between me and the island. Oh, there you go. Either that or they're gonna run right into me. I mean, they might just run right into me, I don't know. That works too. Oh, here we go, now they're going around. Now they're going around. He's got it figured out now. Look out, boss man coming through. They refuse to look at me. Oh, there we go, there's a wave. I tell you, you gotta be on the offensive here when you're out on the water. They're crazies. We've had people cut us off already and on my channel. Get people just, I, there's no way I'd be out here in a kayak on the weekend. Absolutely no way. I mean, you, you're a dead man. Unless you're staying to the backs of coves or something like that. I low key kind of thought he was gonna run up on all that wood and stuff out there. I was like, well, this should be fun. But, but he didn't. Oh, what do we got here? We got search and rescue. Oh, there's a fish. I, is it the police? That's someone. Someone's got flashing lights. There's a shell cracker. That ain't a bad one either. Not bad. What is this? Oh, tow boats US. That's unfortunate. Anyway, that's a really solid shell cracker. I'm half tempted to keep that, but I'm really picky. Yeah, we're going after bigger ones. That's pro that probably was like close to 11 inches, but I'm just gonna keep with the toads here. Well, the breeze is starting to pick up, which is never fun. So we're gonna try to get out of this a little bit here. I'll tell you what, I don't know what it's been, but I swear this summer has just been terrible weather for fishing. Like at some point, something like this always comes up like every day. And I'm kind of sick of it, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of sick of it. But you do what you gotta do with what you're given. I just made that up. <laughs> There's one. Holy oh, yeah, cow, he just hammered it. This has to be a bluegill. The way he popped it. Just be like I said, yeah, bluegill. You can always tell, you can always tell by the way they bite it. Not a bad sized bluegill. I got a couple probably bigger ones than this one though. So we'll just toss them back. Still looking, still looking for that big shell cracker. You know you want it. You know you deserve it. There you go. Oh, that feels like a good fish right there. Oh my. That feels like a real good fish right there. Guys, we returned to the scene of the crime where we started the day and we've hooked into a solid feeling fish. Oh my gosh, if this is a shell cracker, this is huge. Oh my gosh. Oh my heavens, we need the net. 
Where's the net? Where is he? Where is he? Oh my word. Okay. Okay. We got a big fish. Oh, we got a big fish here. Oh my gosh. This might be the jumbo we're after. Guys, she's peeling drag. She's peeling drag. I got six pound test line. Come on. Oh, come on, baby. It's not a catfish, is it? Oh, it's a catfish, man. Dang it. I thought it was a big old shell cracker. <sighs> that stinks. Oh, that really hurts. Just a little like pound and a half channel. It didn't fight like a channel at first. Like, it was like, it didn't have that weird body roll going on. Dang. Oh, I was so excited. I thought we might have just hooked a two, three pound shell cracker right here. Now, nah. there you go. Good eater. Not what I'm after. Oh, man, I'm really disappointed after that. Dang it! Guys, I think there's a boat on the other side of the lake. I think he's trying to signal for help. We're gonna head over and see if he needs anything here. I've seen him a couple times. I thought he was just yelling, but it looks like he's trying to flag boats down. So let's go over and see if we can lend a hand. I don't, I don't know. We'll see what's up anyway. Battery dead? Yeah. I think you're in luck. I got something to jump a battery. You guys says the battery's dead. Let's see if I got something. Thanks so much. Absolutely. That'll ruin a day on the water. Do y'all have a, a, a good, good, good way to go or are you pretty close to the ramp? Right you're just right there? Okay, that's good. Yeah, man, I'm gonna give that to you. There you go, I'm gonna just. Ooh, there we go. Y'all doing any good fishing? I try. Try it. <laughs> it's good. Do you guys need any water or anything like that? You good? Oh yeah, we're great. Okay. <laughs> oh great. There she goes. Dude, that thing cost me about 120 bucks and I just I carry it everywhere with me because like like stuff like this right here, yeah, it's a nightmare, you know, it was a like, no way. It's kind of spendy, but when this happens. You don't mind? <laughs> like, hallelujah, I have it now. <laughs> I just got it online. At least you guys were in the shade. Yeah. Could have been worse. I'm cooking out there, man. It's hot. Awesome. Thank you, man. Yeah, man. Glad I was around. Well, I heard you yelling a couple times. I was like, you might just be yelling for some, you know, some kids or something like that. And then I saw you flagging people down. I thought, oh no, <laughs> you need some help. So. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Y'all have a good weekend. She start up. There you go. Y'all, I'll have a link in the description to this, but I carry this around. Like I said, I bought this off of Amazon and I just keep this with me whenever I go camping or anything like that. But this has like a USB plug in and all kinds of stuff, but then it jumps your battery as well. Or like I said, you can uh you, i've even like charged my phone on this before actually i think i've charged my phone on this more than i've actually used it for jumping or anything so still no slab shell cracker but hasn't been for a lack of trying that's for sure wait do i have feels like a bite yeah that's a fish that's a fish here we go here we go oh what we got what we got what we got oh yeah that's a good fish Ooh, that's a good fish. Come here. Oh yeah, that's a pancake. That's a pancake. Come on up, baby. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, look at that fish right there, y'all. That's a nice one. That's kind of what we're after more. I mean, still not, not a slabo, but yeah, that's another, that's another 11 and a half inch right there. Another 11 and a half inch shell cracker. Sweet. Let's see if there are any slabs down here. Sun's starting to head down, heading towards evening. So, like I said, this is our last spot. Trying to just see if we can't uh, get that king cracker, but that's not a bad fish at all either. I'll take that. Better than what we have been catching, those like nine and 10 inches. 
we are going to go ahead and measure the biggest one which is still i think the first one let's see is he going to crack a pound oh yeah he will actually that's kind of surprises me a little bit there you go 1.1 pounds i'll take that that's not shabby not the king cracker i'm after but uh, that's still not a bad fish. Let's measure the second one. I'll bet this one's over a pound as well. I mean, whenever you're catching panfish that are over a pound, I mean, pretty good. Oh, is he gonna get there? No, <laughs> no. 0 0.94. 0 0.94 for the second one. So the first fish, the first shell cracker of the day was the biggest, actually. What do you know? And that's crazy, because guys, I'll bet we caught probably I'll bet I caught 30 shell cracker today, easily, easily. And I'll bet only maybe two or three were, were probably like ones that you should throw back. You couldn't get enough meat off of, but that's awesome. Let's go ahead and cook up a little supper, a little shell cracker supper. Got our little cooking set up right at the bow, turning out to be an absolutely beautiful evening. Light breeze on the water. Now, a lot of folks like to fry their pan fish up. Me personally, I like to cook it actually in um, in seasoning. It just has a really good flavor that way, in my opinion. Ooh, gotta turn that down, that's hot. Good nip. Woo! Got splashing oil on my white thighs here. Ah! So what we've done is we've descaled them and then filleted them. And then I had a subscriber, Miss Heidi, tell me about this Team Weber kicking chicken this stuff is absolutely bomb on fish. Got a little kick to it, obviously, as it says in the name. But the, I mean, that stuff, th this might be my seasoning of 2022 right there. That, that is legitness, as they say. If I can flip this, we'll put some parsley. There we go. A little parsley on there as well. It doesn't get any fresher than this right here, ladies and gentlemen. Right out on the water. Man, I don't know if it gets much better than this right here. Beautiful sunset, peeking out behind the island over there, cooking up some fresh shell crackers right here on our John boat. I'll tell you what, it was hot. I jumped in probably about 10 times today, no kidding. Like, it was just, you have to, you just, you just have to. It, it's just so hot, and about every 15 minutes I'm stopping filling up my uh, my cup of water here and just taking, just just guzzling it down. Trying to keep the water in my mouth, obviously. And then supplementing it with some Powerades, because I mean, if you don't, if you fall behind on your liquids, then I mean, you may as well just count yourself out the next day because you'll be feeling off for a good 24 hours at least, headaches, um, body aches just usually I get nauseous as well if I get overheated and uh, it's just a mess you can't you can't do it you can't let yourself do it all right there you go y'all Woo! fresh shell cracker right out here on the water mm. oh man Oh man, that skin is nice and crunchy. I got that down. You can't beat fresh fish, salt water or fresh water. I mean, right on the boat. It just, it doesn't get any better than that. These fish were alive. I don't know, 15 minutes ago. Mm. Well, YouTube fam, not a bad day on the water. Didn't catch that king cracker that I'm after, but you know what? I guess that just means we have to come out here and do it again. Thank you guys for tagging along with me for the day. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.